Hi. Now in this video, we are going to talk about nonce range. And this is a very important video because this video actually will help you to understand our next topic that is time stamp. So please be a little bit more alert, more careful in this video. Okay. This is a very important video. And this video will be a little bit tricky, I will say, because in this we are going to use a little bit of mathematical calculations. So you might find it a little bit tricky, but I will suggest you to just be patient. And at the end of this video, you will be understanding each and every thing. Okay. So just be a little bit patient here. So as we have discussed in our previous video that this nonce is a, is a number that miners use in order to solve the mathematical problem. So with the help of this nonce, miners are able to generate different hashes. And once they will, they, they are able to generate a hash, which is below the target, they are able to create the block. And once they will create the block, they will get rewarded, right? We have, ex I have explained all these things in the previous video. Now, since this nonce, as we can see is a number, right? And since this is a number, it has a particular range. This nonce is a 32 bit number. Now, if you are not from a computer science background, you might not be getting this bit. So I will suggest you to just go and search for it and you can easily see an explanation for this bit. Okay. This is something related to your computer science fundamentals. So just go and search for it and you will find a good video uh, like about this bit. For now, what you can think or not, I will say think for now, what you can say that this nonce, the range of nonce we have is four zero to four to four into 10 to the power nine means with this 32 bit number, we can generate zero to four into 10 to the power nine nonce. That is around 4 billions of nonce means we can have a nonce at zero, one, two, and till we can have this nonce four into 10 to the power nine. Okay. It, it is a pretty big number, right? This is a pretty big number. Now, and how I have got this calculation, uh, this is something again, I will say this is something related to your computer science background only. So I have just taken this zero. Uh, 0, 2, 2 to the power 32 and then minus 1. That's how I got this number 4 into 10 to the power 9. Okay. Now, if you are not getting it, just don't worry. Just go on with the video. You will understand each and everything at the end. The concept actually at the end of this video. This 4 into 10 to the power 9 nonce might looks like a very big number to you, right? But trust me, this is not a very big number. If you talk about our SHA-256 algorithm, which produces 64 hexadecimal characters, and if we talk about the number of possibilities, means the number of hashes that we can generate from this 64 hexadecimal characters is around 10 to the power 77. Okay, it is around 10 to the power 77. Now, how I got this number? Since we have 64 characters here, and at each character, we have 64 possibilities, right? Because as we have discussed about hexadecimal number, hexadecimal number is from 0 to F. And if you will see the range, it is 16. So we have 16 possibilities here, 16 possibilities here, 16 possibilities here. And we have till 64 characters, right? So I have just multiplied all these 16 into 16 into 16, 64 times. And that's how I got this number okay so this is the total number of hashes that we can produce by using this sha 256 algorithm and this is something uh, related to your permutation and combination of mathematics but don't worry if you just remember this number and you are good to go since the total number of valid hashes is around 10 to the power 77 right which we calculated using this sha 256 algorithm and the total number of nonce that we can generate is 4 into 10 to the power 9 now, if you will see something, uh, something is problematic here. The number of nonce that we are generating is very, very, very much lower than this 10 to the power 77 means this 10 to the power 77 is a very, very, very big number, right? If you will compare it with this four into 10 to the power nine, right? Because we have 10 to the power seven here, we have 10 to the power nine. So it is a very big number. Now this generates a problem. Now, what is that problem? that there are not enough nonce to generate the valid hash. Why? Because with the help of nonce, what we do with the help of nonce, we generate hash, right? And with the help of nonce, you can clearly see that we can generate only four into 10 to the power nine hashes because we have four into 20 power nine nonce. So we can generate four into 10 to the power nine hashes, right? But the total number of valid hashes is 10 to the power 79, 77, right? So we cannot generate, we cannot generate all the hashes that are possible. Now, if you are not getting it, you will, you will understand. Just see this diagram. 
So let's say this is our nonce, right? This is our number of nonce, and this is our total number of valid hashes. Okay. And let's assume that this is four into 10 to the power nine uh, nonces, and just assume that these are 10 to the power seven, 77 hashes. Okay. Now let's say as a miner, I used one of my nonce and I was able to generate this hash. Okay. So I was able to generate this hash that is present in our SHA-256 algorithm. Now by using this, I was able to generate this, 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 this. Now, after some point of time, you will see that I do not have any nonce remaining in my bucket. So I cannot generate these hashes that are left. And it might be the possibility that my target is somewhere here, right? Because it might be a possibility, right? That I might, I might have exhausted all my nonce. I might have exhausted all my nonce, but still I was not able to produce these hashes. So I was not able to go to these hashes and might be, might be my answer is there in these the in these hashes that are left it can be a possibility right so this is a problem and just do not think that i am just uh, if i was just using this nonce and it was generating this nonce i mean it's, it can be here and here also like this this can produce this nonce also this hash also this nonce can also produce this hash also i'm just i'm trying to explain you another concept here the concept is that with the help of this nonce you cannot generate all the possible hashes that are there and if you are not able to generate all the possible hashes so you might not be able to generate the hash which is below the target okay and this is a problem right this is a problem now let's look at another important thing that let's say that a modest miner who is mining is able to generate 10 to the power 8 hashes per second so this is just an assumption so he is using some technology and he is able to generate 10 to the power 8 hashes per second now since we have only 4 into 10 to the power nonce how much time it will take to consume all these nonces so it will take around 4 into 10 to the power 9 oblate 10 to the power 8 equal to 40 seconds right now how, how how i got this calculation let me tell you so in one second i was able to generate 10 to the power 8 hashes right so let, me, let me do it one seconds and hashes okay so i'm using a unitary math, math unitary method of mathematics so in one second i was able to generate 10 to the power 8 hashes right now i have 4 into 10 to the power non, 9 nonce, right? So means I do I have 4 into 10 to the power 9 hashes, right? Because these nonce are actually used to generate hashes. So we can say that with the help of this 4 into 10 to the power 9 nonce, I am able to generate 4 into 10 to the power 9 hashes. So the question is, how much time will it take to generate this number of hashes? So I'm taking this as x, a variable, then I'm going to do cross multiplication, a simple unitary method trick you can go and see this this is a simple thing so i will i will be getting x 4 into 10 to the power 9 into 1 divided by 10 to the power 8 and by this you can clearly see that in 40 seconds i will be exhausted with all my nonces now the question is what i will do if all my nonces are exhausted after 40 seconds what i will do right this is the question let me erase all these things so this is my question that so what the miners will do when nonce get exhausted and miners have not hit the target okay this is a big question and we will address this question in our next video where we are going to talk about timestamps field in our blockchain okay so i hope you like this video if you have any doubts please comment below this video i am active here and i will definitely answer your doubts i hope there will be no doubts but still, if you have doubts, please comment below your doubts and I will be explaining you the concept behind it. If you have liked this video, please click on that like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel because I'm going to regularly upload blockchain courses on this channel. If you want to talk to me directly, you can join me at Instagram. I'm available there. You can talk to me directly there. If you want to join our Discord community of blockchain developer, where we have 2000 plus blockchain developers, please join in the link given in the description of this video okay just join the link okay given in the description of this video and then meet you there so meet you there tata bye bye take care